What's going on? You're hanging out with Death Count and we're jumping into Batman number 31. Read this book on the way home and I gotta tell you, it is suspenseful, man. Like, even more so than Batman 30, which I was on the edge of my seat with. <laughs> gotta tell you. Uh, Batman actually challenges the Riddler to a riddle. Because, as you probably know if you've been reading, the Riddler has taken over the city. And uh, basically, if any Gotham citizen can, like, stump him on a riddle, then he'll give power back to the city. And so, that's pretty badass Batman on that motorcycle. So, Batman challenges him. And what he basically does is, uh, uh, he knows the history of Edward Nigma, who is the Riddler. So, what he basically says to the Riddler is, tell me who this man is. This man considers himself to be a genius, but never gets recognition uh, and I'll tell you why he doesn't. It's because people are only admired for their intelligence when they change the world, not when they're selfish. So he basically pokes fun at him. And uh, that's all I'm going to tell you. You really need to read it, man. Great book. And this was a great ending, too. <laughs> I'm not going to give any more. So next we're jumping into the last issue of Nightwing. Are you sad to see it go? I'm not particularly sad about the comic book leaving, but the character I am, but who knows. There may be something cool with this whole uh, Grayson thing they're going for. I read this book, and Batman and Nightwing have the most epic fight in the Batcave. Batman throws him through the freaking Robin trophy case that's holding Damien's Robin suit. They just beat the shit out of each other, and it was pretty cool. Batman's trying to convince Dick Grayson... Uh, uh, to join this secret, uh, thing. Oh, and here, they're making fun of some dialogue from Batman Begins, which is pretty funny. But Batman wants him to stay undercover. The world thinks he's dead, including everyone in the Bat family. He wants to keep it that way. I'm sure there's gonna be some repercussions later from that, but Batman wants him to stay hidden for a good reason. And when you read this book, you'll know why. But their fight is worth buying this book by itself. And that's going to do it for this week. So I'll be checking out Grayson next month. Hopefully that turns out well. And I'll see you next week.